Injury wise, any injuries in the past um, or present? Hips, knees, all. I'm nearly all 70, Marcus. <laughs> there isn't a bit that's not wearing out. <laughs> we'll see what we can do. So, distance will make the difference, you feel. What, is there anything else you'd like? What would you like to achieve by the end of this session? Um, okay. I think my swings become very flat, and I'm trying to scrape the ball off the surface rather than hit down into the back yeah. of it. Okay. And so, latterly, I've been trying to concentrate on hitting down into the ball. And it seems to have been flying a bit better. Okay. Although not necessarily any further, but at least he's, I'm getting it up and yeah, down. It's right. moving. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's been working yeah. to a degree. Yeah. But a lot of the time I feel as though I'm swaying this way and then, because I'm quite hefty at the top, and I'm coming over it and losing my balance. Okay, like that. that's, right. That's what it feels like to me at least. Yeah, you know? and that could yeah. cost distance, that could cost power, yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. Cool, let's hit a few few balls. We'll see what we're working with. <laughs> <laughs> this is where I shank it. <laughs> a bit skinny. Mm, that's a good starter, it's nice for me. Nice swing, nice action. There we go. No, that's it, get these out of <laughs> your system first. Yeah. Nice one. That's a nice shape, that Paul. Yeah. Nice though, that. Ah, there we go. Yeah. We get one of those from time to time. The Shankaroonie. Yeah. But oh, that was heavy. 117.6 carry, seven degree down angle of attack. So 7.5, so Quite very steep. down. Yeah. It is, because your club path's only 0 0.9 degrees to the left. What this means is that you're swinging to the right. Okay, 117.6 yeah. carry, 67.7 miles per hour club head speed. You had 69.9 on the previous one, but you just caught it a bit heavy, so yeah, yeah. you didn't get the distance. But that was a nice shot you hit, but the height was only 49.8 feet. Mm. So we're not really getting the carry we could be. You're swinging to the right and down. If I just take this hoop and show you what's going on. So if that's our swing, yeah. this is where we're striking the ball. You're striking down. You're only swinging a degree or two out. So your golf swing, you're hitting down, which would throw your path out to the left, but you're actually swinging in this direction. Right. So your path is marginally to the left, into out, but you're swinging so steep to get it, because in actual fact, you're swinging to the right. Can you see where this hoop's going? Yeah. There's nothing wrong with this. What it means is it may present a problem with your dynamic loft, which it's flying so low. Yeah. So yeah. you've got to then start adding loft. Yeah. So we've got a steeper swing with essentially what is a bit of an early release. And what I want to do is I just want to explore it with some longer clubs and just measure on the pressure plate and see what's happening. So okay. we'll go to something like a five iron. Five iron, yeah. Mm. That's interesting that, because I say it's literally only the last couple of weeks I've been concentrating on trying to hit down into it. Before I was, I felt as though it was very flat and very flicky. Mm. Well, it might still be flicky, you're just doing it going down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it might not feel as flicky. Yes. But it's rare to suddenly eradicate a flick. Yeah. Okay, which is an early kind of wrist yeah. extension. Yeah. That's horrible. Going about the same distance, isn't it? <laughs> it's bang on the same. Yeah. So you've got 69 mile an hour club head speed, uh, the one the previous, that yeah. was 70.9. So 69, 70, so you're like a, you're about the same. Yeah. Five degree angle of attack down. Your carry was 123.3 yeah. and 116.3 on the previous one. That's two clubs more than your seven iron. You're getting like 10 yard more. Yeah, not great. That's not it? the gap in you'd, you'd, no. you'd hope for, is it? No. Vertical launch, 12 degree. Mm. So that is not less bad. than a lot of people's drivers. So we need to get that angle of attack up. Yeah. The first thing we need to do is get you moving up and down because there's, no there's no up and down movement. So you're gonna go drop and pop left, drop and pop right. Off your toes. Yeah. Bang, bang, only half steps. Yeah. Bang, bang, towards the orange and towards the red. Okay. <laughs> How doesn't it look? Mm. So what you're doing here and this is what's happening in the golf swing. We can't get the speed to the movement at the minute, yeah. that's all. So you've got a drop and a pop, but this is switching on the movement acuity. So we've got to be unweighting to slide it. Yeah. So you're going to be dropping and popping, but keep your heels high. So you keep your heels up 
off the floor and just use your toes. That's it. And then you don't drop back. That's it. And then drop and pop the other way. Better. Only half a step. Drop, pop, drop, pop. That's getting better. So think of it. You want to be up in the air. So you won't even have to. That's it. And then you drop and pop. The, that's better. Just a half step though. You don't have to go as far. It's more about going up than it is side to side. Yeah. You're only going sideways a little bit and then drop and pop. That's it. Start with your feet really close together. Drop, pop, drop, pop. Drop, pop. Drop, pop. Good. Different feel. Yeah. Brilliant. Now, how different is that compared yeah. to when you started? Fantastic, Paul. As you swing up, let yourself drop into your right side and then spring. There you go. It's good. Good. Let's have a couple of shots. Just playing around. Lovely. Shot. That's a great shot. 127.7 carry, that's better. 75.8 club head speed. I've been driving on diesel with the brake on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well done. That's fantastic. Look at the flight now. Yeah. It's launching, nice. isn't it? Yeah. So you've got a 20.7 vertical launch. It's fantastic. Oh, shot. Different feeling? Definitely. I see nowhere near as much effort at the bottom of the swing, it's just happening almost. Mm. Oh, that's awesome. Nice. Feel good? Yeah, yeah. It's, so it's uh, 126.6 carry, so we're up. We're getting up there now. Yeah. If you love the coaching and want to experience the effects of the training that you see with our pupils, you can purchase the GRFI system yourself by following the link in the video description. You'll get all the equipment and a two hour download covering all the fundamentals, exploring your movement and how you can use the ground and create those all important ground reaction forces and transfer them through to club head speed and experience the gains that you're seeing in the videos. Nice. Some hang time on that. 129.4. It's better, isn't it? Yeah. 117.6, I think we got. Yeah. Max. And then we went to the five irons. And then it was like, you got up to 133.9. 138.5 was your biggest five. And now you're at 129.4 with a seven. With a 74.7 .7 mile an hour club head speed, angle of attack 2.4 down. So no longer massively. Yeah. That's miles better. What it's done is it's took your club path to the right a little bit. So you were having to use a very steep angle of attack to get your club path out. Now we can start to let this club actually start to swing out. Yeah. And that's when we can start to get more distance because you're going to start to let that club rotate yes. more freely. Okay. You've been used to swinging across and it's all been working as one. So essentially you've, you could create speed, but then you couldn't get it through to your arms because your arms are almost like, they're not traveling at the same speed, but just as an anal analogy, they are almost now traveling at the same, they're limited to your torso. Yeah. They can't actually. Yes accumulate that momentum. So, a bit of rotation now. Right. So you're going to hold this against your rib cage. Yep. And first of all, just at the side, just rotate using your toes. Just use your toes to rotate. I certain drop you'll feel that little drop in the middle to rotate. Okay. Good. And let's start to drop and pop to rotate back a bit more. Yes. Feel okay to do? Mhm. Mm so if you want to rotate more, use your hips more on the way back. Let your pelvis rotate on the way back more, not on the way. So more rotation this way with your body, with your pelvis. Not so much your torso. So you can let this knee come in, you see. Right, yeah. So you can use this toe. Yes. So you, you can stand up. There we go. That's it. Does that feel okay to do? Yeah. So it's opening up your pelvis rotation this way. Different feel? Yeah. Staying in flexion has just restricted you. Now you can stand up and you can push off that right toe to swing. There you go. And let your right knee move in. Let it collapse. This leg collapses naturally to let you rotate back. Yes, that's it. Fantastic. Now let's go on the board. Drop and pop, rotate, drop and pop, rotate. So you're going to just feel that drop and pop, that wave like act. There you go. Look at that. It's so late. So you drop and then stand up to rotate. Well done. Now just go, pop over onto the mat. No ball yet. Just three or four swings and I'll give you a breather. Okay, <laughs> just in the air. So to maximise your rotation back, that's it. There we go. The ball will change things when you stand to the ball. Good. Okay, just two or three balls now. 
shot. Certainly feels like there's more zip there now. That was very good, wasn't it? It's launching over 20 degrees now, which yeah. is what you want. Just a bit mistimed, that one. Yeah. It's okay. That's fantastic. Well done. 22.3 vertical launch. That's awesome. You were 12 degree at one point. Yeah. yeah. Tap the ground, forward press, off you go. Look at that. Oh, yeah. What a golf oh, shot. bottle that one. 134.6. <laughs> Look at that. 101.2 ball speed from a 75.4 mile an hour club head speed. So now you're getting these two starting to play ball with each other. Yeah. Attack angle 2.5 down, club path 5.6, face was 4.7 close to your path, so it's like a perfect draw. Yeah. 6,000 spin off a 7 iron with a 20.8 vertical. I mean, they, that is tick box, tick box, tick box, tick box. So you're getting all those numbers in the right configuration and increasing, optimising, but you're not thinking about achieving those numbers that way. No. All you're doing is letting the club go. You can really let the swing go out to the left. Awesome, well done. So you've got some whip. Yeah. To your action, 75 mile an hour club head speed. It's mega that. Oh, Paul. <laughs> Can't see where they're going now. No, I'm going to have to switch lights on now because you, you're going too far. <laughs> Feel good? Yeah. 75.8 club head speed. You're going off the Richter scale here. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. What a golf shot. Yeah. And again, didn't feel that. That was fantastic. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. It sounds different, doesn't it? That was, that was brilliant. Awesome. Now I'm going to just let you hit a couple more and then add a little extra spice to this drill <laughs> and then we'll get the driver and hit okay. a couple with the driver. Because you, sure. you're so much more dynamic now. Big swing now. Let's push off to make that swing, that rotate that whole rib cage to the pelvis. There we go. That's it. Get some launch. Swing speed, 76.3. <laughs> My God. Just getting warmed up. You just. <laughs> We're creating a monster. <laughs> <laughs> 76.3. You're going to slide towards the grey and twist the foot in. Okay. This is like being on the board earlier when you were popping. Yeah. But now you're going to slide it out because it's going to direct the vector back at you, which is going to give you the, ro the rotation. Okay. So what you do, you drop in, twist the foot in, let your hip slide. Then what you do when you're there, get the feel for that, then you drop and pop it and just spring up. So you're going to have to get used to springing up off your toe you sprung up off both feet, which was brilliant. Yeah, don't, you're gonna go in, twist it in, so nice and slow, drop into it with your hip. Now, spring up off your toe. But watch this. It's not a, a cat <laughs> on a hot tin <laughs> roof, right? It's, you just go up. It'll okay. twist out on its own with your toes. So start with your feet together, drop in, spring up off your toes, both feet up to the ceiling, as if you're jumping off your toes. That's it, but watch my toes, look, they go down, watch. Point them down. Okay. Yeah, so that, watch this, you're not doing this, where they come up with you. <laughs> full, I want, I want a full extension of the leg if you can get that. Yeah. Good. Now, take a swing. You can go up. Yes, you just want to, don't jump, just swing. Don't, don't even, what you don't try and do is copy that exercise. All you've got to do is just go to swing to your finish. It'll just fit into your swing, just in the air, just let it swish. That's it. Fantastic. Nice. Feel the difference? Yeah. Yes. Forward press and off you go. Beautiful. Nice one. Feeling good? Yeah, yeah. Shot. <laughs> 77.5 mile an hour. That's your five iron, so you'd expect it to go up. Yeah. 142 carry. Brilliant. <laughs> you know, you hear people talk about pause at the top of the backswing. Yeah. It feels as though there's a pause, but the pause is here on my backside. Brilliant. Yeah. So you're feeling where it's coming from. Yeah. That's awesome. 
brilliant well done it's going to open that space left yeah right get the driver out it might need a higher t-peg but we'll